Before you get started, set the playback speed to 1.5 because I will be talking quite slow in this video. The video that's going to come here is the video I'm making now. Um, but please pay attention to this bottom part here. So now you're in courses and your courses will include your events and your tasks, but you can save a lot of time by connecting Shovel to one of the school's platforms. So if your school is using one of these platforms, please click uh, one of these buttons. If it is not, click to add a course manually. But let's go back to the previous page. So here, if your school is using one of these platforms and your professors um, fill up their syllabi there, that's excellent for you. So let's say Canvas, when you click on it, um, you'll see on the left instructions on how to get your calendar feed link, which is what we're looking for. And I already have mine, so when I paste it here, I see that Shovel found four courses in that Canvas link. They're all fall 2021 courses. So I will select all of them and I will connect them to Shovel. I can sync the um, course to another platform or uh, Google Calendar. And I click Next. I can create more activities here. And now I'm inside the main app. And what I really want to show you here quickly is how cool it is that we connected Canvas to Shovel. My professor filled out, um, my professors actually filled out a lot of um, the tasks and assignments in Canvas. So I now see them in Shovel and I can start interacting with them. I know what they are and I can start adding different properties to the already created tasks. So for example, I would go to this first class and I see that I have a lot of discussions. So I would make sure that I'm grouping tasks by all and I would search discussion in this one class and shovel found all of the discussion tasks, I can select them all at once and I can create a category called discussion. I can also change the emoji to something that signifies discussion. And now I categorized all of my discussion tasks, which is great. If my start ahead defaults to three but maybe I will need more or less time for some of these tasks and that will determine how soon I want to get started on each task. So I can do it individually or I can again have all of the tasks selected and set a different start day. So five days before each discussion is due, I want to start preparing for it. And the last thing I want you to see is this still need time, which is how much time do you still need um, to work to get ready for each discussion? So here again, I have all of my discussion tasks selected and I will click on this set time needed. And I would say that I need two hours of preparation for each discussion task. This is all I need to do for my discussion tasks. They are organized and I know exactly what I need to do. It's written here by my professor. I can add more notes. I can add subtasks and I can start tracking my progress on each task. And if I go to my calendar, once I create my schedule classes here, I can see all of my tasks on the right. Let's see, where is it? Discussion one. And I know I need two hours, so I have two hours left to plan for this task because I haven't planned it yet. And I can plan it into an empty study time. So now I know that I will have enough time to get this task done and I know exactly when I'm going to do it. If you did not link your courses to school platforms from the beginning, you can also do it 
by adding a new course or actually clicking on an existing course, but then clicking these three dots and clicking sync with and choose what you want to sync that course with.